The year's biggest meeting of astronomers was the site of a special unveiling, an image seen countless times before by scientists studying the night sky, but nothing like this. I think it's very important to make things accessible for everyone. I feel uncomfortable when there's materials that are just for people who are blind versus everybody else. Well, yeah. So using some grant money from a special Hubble archival research project, the Space Telescope Science Institute here in Baltimore, Maryland, teamed up with Braille author Noreen Grice to give the visually impaired an unprecedented view of the iconic Carina Nebula. It's a mishmash of star birth and star death and everything in between, lots of cloud structures. Now the challenge was to figure out which of these features to emphasize and which ones to maybe not include to make sure that the image wasn't confusing. But figuring out what textures should represent the different parts of the nebula was just one challenge image designers had to overcome. Kids were assembled for a camp and we did have them test various prototypes so we could figure out what was working and what wasn't working. We had a large version, we had a medium-sized version, and then we had a more compact version. And what we learned is that the more compact version seemed to be the most effective at providing just the right amount of information. So that's what we ended up with. All lessons learned, Grice and Mutchler hope, will help in future projects. It's much better to make materials that everyone can use. It brings people together so classmates are equal peers and scientists are equal colleagues equality that will help make the universe a sight for everyone to see. From the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, I'm Mary Estacion.